Hello everybody and welcome back to another video in this Pi game tutorial series. In today's video, I want to be showing you guys how we can bind the movement of our character to certain areas of the screen. Let me demonstrate what I mean by that. Over here we have our character represented by this white dot and at the moment you'll see that it can go off of our screen to the top, to the bottom, and to the left and to the right. And the annoying thing is that if I take it too far off of the screen, I can't find it anymore, um, which is very annoying. So of course, when you're making your own game, you want to avoid that from happening because it will be stupid for your character to go off screen um, and you not to be able to see him anymore. So I want to introduce some boundaries to where our character or where the white dot can go. And uh, before I go ahead and do that, I just want to briefly show you the coordinate um, system in Pi game. So by default, the top left corner of your screen is the um, point zero zero. And then uh, to the right, you have the X axis and going down, you have the Y axis. In our case, we have a 500 by 500 window as you can see from uh, the window which we um, introduced in the first tutorial in the series. And we said that the tuple which we have um, input over here uh, is defines the height and the width of our window. In this case, we have a 500 by 500 pixel window. So if we want to make sure that our dot doesn't go off the right hand side or off the left hand side, we need to make sure that the x value remains under 500 and the y value is greater than zero. So let's go ahead and implement that into our uh, game. So the movement is um, was introduced in the second tutorial in this series where we looked at this code over here and the key presses. So if we want to make sure that it won't go off the screen to the right hand side, we need to say that the x value is smaller than 500. And we need to combine um, the user input and the condition with the AND keyword. All right, and we want to do the same with the left. So we want to say that the user input is left and x is greater than zero. And if this condition is fulfilled, then we want to um, subtract the value of vel uh, from our x coordinate where velocity um, is the number of pixels that we subtract from our x value uh, for every iteration of the while loop. Yeah. All right, so now we have our boundaries on the left and the right hand side of our screen. Let's see if it works. If I try pressing right, it won't go further than the end of the screen. And the same happens with the um, uh, left hand side but it still goes off screen on the top and on the bottom. So I'm gonna bring up the coordinate grid again and to bind our ball to the top and, and at the bottom, we want to make sure that the Y value does not go below zero and the uh, y, value, y value always stays um, uh, below 500, yeah? All right, so let's implement that into our game. So this is the user input um, for the up movement. And I need to say that up needs to be, um, the Y coordinate needs to uh, be greater than zero. And for the downwards movement, we need to say that the Y coordinate is smaller than 500. 
All right, so now we should have it working just fine. You'll see that now our character or our white dot is bound to all areas of the screen which we can see and it can't go beyond that. All right, so that sums up our tutorial on the uh, coordinate system and how to restrict the movement of a character to certain areas of our screen. So if this video helped you out, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on this series. And yeah, we'll see each other in the next video.